Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going through a few new products. I'm finally trying the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. I've got the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup Foundation. I have the Makeup by Mario Concealer. I've used the brushes from the new Nikki LaRose brush set from BK Beauty. I got a mix of everything. As always, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, and I dip into fashion a little bit. If you're not new, thank you so much for returning. And that's it. Let's get on with the video. Okay, let's get started. Bought a lot of new products over the holidays and I can't wait to try them. So I hope this matches. I picked up the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup. This is a 24 hour wear and I chose the color 220. I'm really excited. I was a bit sad because I thought they forgot me. But BK Beauty sent me the new brushes from Nikki LaRose. This is the Pro Artist series. If you don't know who Nikki LaRose is, she's a very talented makeup artist, and I learn so much from her every time I watch. Typically, I would wash my brushes first, but I'm not going to because I want to use them. But I usually do recommend that you give them a light wash first. All right, let's go through this. We've got the N17, which is a multitasking brush. So this would be the foundation brush, cream products, anything like that and that would be for your powder. This is the N16 brush, which is the concealer brush. Got the N15, which is a precision medium powder brush. The N14, which is a petite precision multitasker. The N13, a precision pro blender. N12, the ultimate smudger. The N11, the ultimate angle. I feel like this brush set might be really nice for you if you want to keep everything simple and compact. Like it pretty much gives you everything that you need except for a packing brush. All right, so first I'm gonna use the N17 and I'm gonna use this side of the brush. I should prep my skin first. Um, I did moisturize, but I feel like I need a little hydration. I'm gonna use this one by Freck Beauty. I know I like it and, and I wanna go with something that I know I like. It gives a really nice slip to my skin. Should I turn those lights back on? A lot of you have asked me where I got these earrings. I think this is so pretty. Both of them are from Amazon. The designer of these earrings and a lot of the earrings I've purchased is by Robert Lee Morris. And this necklace, look at it has a little, little gem there. And it's so shiny, it looks luxurious, and it didn't cost that much. I will leave a link for you in the description box, and it will also be in my storefront for you. So now that that's set in a little bit, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palette. Let's see if this matches. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good match. So this is 220. And I didn't take a ton off of my palette. That brush is really nice. Interesting. I don't normally use a brush like that for foundation. I'm gonna put my hair back. I usually use a dense, stiff brush. I still feel like that's a bit bright. Okay, I turned it down. Yeah, that's better. Oh. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and see if I can build it up a little bit. So where I wanna build it up is right around here. Um, I didn't really hit this area. That's where all my violet veins are coming through. So I wanna make sure to cover that a little bit. While that's sitting, I'm going to prep my eyelids with Painterly Paint Pot. What am I gonna use for eyeshadow today? I really did a nice eye look yesterday. I'm still in the process of editing a video. I followed a video that Natasha Denona posted of her using her mini dream palette. So pretty. I wanna do that more often because I loved it and I get stuck in a rut sometimes. Anyway, I haven't finished editing because I'm using that new program that my daughter has pushed me to try and I'm really struggling learning how to do it. It would have been up by now, I think, if I hadn't been using a new system, but I don't want to give up. I'm going to keep trying. So I put out another pump and I'm just dragging it into the brush, just pushing it in. And I'm going to tap in right there. I want to get right into that area where I have the violet veins. Okay. 
that worked. And I wanna get into right in there. Some people don't need coverage there, but my skin's pretty thin and because I'm so fair, you can see the veins and I don't like that. This foundation is really pretty. Now I have a new powder to try as well. I did pick up the e.l.f. glow powder. Hold on. Wait, I got to conceal first. So for concealer today, I picked up another makeup by Mario concealer. I picked up number 200 before and I showed this in a video, but it is too dark. The lighter color is 160. Yeah, 160. So I'm going to try that one. The wand is very thin and it actually reminds me of the CoverGirl wand I just tried. Let me get that one. Yeah, I keep adjusting the lights and I think it's because I have a white shirt on so my camera is a little confused or I'm confused. This is the wand of the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour Wear Concealer. And this one is a makeup by Mario. Very thin. All right, let's see how this goes. I've seen mixed reviews on this concealer. I probably will know right away if I like it or not. I can't remember if I did like it. And I think it was because I knew it was the wrong color. I will use N16. I'm gonna tap it out a little bit and then let it rest for a second. I want to put something on my lips. I want to try more of these. I love the formula of the Line Loud Lip Liners by NYX. I just got a color that's a little light, so I want to try more. This is by Makeup by Mario, and it is in the color Hue. I've lost my Merit Beauty baby lipstick. I have no idea where, it's gotta be in a coat pocket somewhere. I'm not happy. I was looking for some of my favorite products for 2023. That's one of them and I can't find it anywhere. All right, so this is sat. So let me see. I'm gonna get right in there. Really making sure that I get right in the nook. Now, is this one too light, do we think? I'm gonna push it in with my finger as I always do. Did I let it sit too long? No, I don't think so. I got a little bit in my eye, yuck. I'm gonna let that sit and we'll see if I need to set it. I have heard people say that it's a self-setting concealer and that would be really nice. That color is definitely better than the 200. The 200 has a little bit of yellowy tone to it. Do you know what I wish though? I wish that there was one in between. I feel like he's missing a color. Let me put it on the back of my hand and I'll show you. Yeah, look at the difference. So ideally, these two mixed together would be much better. That would be much better for me for sure. Well, maybe he will come out with new colors or more options. So I did pick up the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It was highly recommended by all of you. I hope you guys can't hear my daughter's TV downstairs. She's right under me. Okay, it has good packaging. I just have to get this sticker off. Oh God, like how are you supposed to get the sticker off? Do I have to go ask my husband for help? Drugstore packaging, oh, I really hate it. I have this sharp little thing palette knife that I can't get it still. Oh, finally. It just shouldn't be that difficult. There should be some kind of ledge. Was I doing it from the wrong side? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna put the lid on and tap it upside down. And you can see that I've got some powder in my lid and some powder up here. And I'm gonna tap into the powder with this brush. I'm gonna work the powder into my brush, really working it in. If you're worried at all, pat it into the back of your hand as well and tap it on. Right where I'm shiny. 
I didn't buy this before because I was worried that there would be an iridescence to it, but everybody told me there wasn't and there isn't. Why do they call it glow? I'm also patting it on my brows so that I can make sure my brow pencil sticks. Might as well put a little bit on my eyelid as well. Oh, I didn't put anything on my lips. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe this is called Taupe Beige. I'm gonna just do a simple eye look. I'm gonna use my MAC Connectin 4 Unfiltered Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette. If I were to travel, I may travel with this one or I might travel with this one. In fact, mm, I might travel with this one because it's so small. But I feel like using this one today. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go into this one right here and dust it onto my brow bone and cheat it up towards my tip of my brow right here. Yeah, I can hear my daughter laughing. <laughs> it's good, it's laughter. Keeping it really simple, I think I'm gonna go into this one right here and I'm gonna apply that on my lid. The more I can use my fingers, the less amount of brushes I have to use. I need my nails done so bad. I'm gonna use the smudge brush. This is the N12 and I'm gonna go into this one right here. Keeping it on that outer half and giving it a little bit of a lift. And I'm going to use this same brush and tap it in that outer crease. Just tapping it in, so roughly placing the shadow and then using the blender brush, this is the same brush that I used for the crease, and going over top of it to make sure it all connects. Same brush, going underneath and creating that shadow. Very simple look. Nothing too crazy. In Natasha's video, I put the eyeshadow over top of a liner like she did. Oh, it was so pretty. It might be my new addiction, but today again, the focus is more about the skin. It really doesn't have to be that hard. You don't need a thousand colors. You don't need a thousand brushes, unless you're a lover of makeup like I am and I want it all. But really to create a polished look, a few key pieces is all you need. Is that even? It's really hard to see. I'm gonna dip my fluffy brush back into that same darker color and focus it on the outer third, outer half. I like, when I look at myself, I like this, wait, I like this eye better than I like this eye. This eye is coming down, you see, and this eye is going more up. So that's an easy fix. And that's because I was being messy. I'm gonna take a Q-tip in my Missler water. My Missler water is Garnier Skin Active Missler water. And I'm just gonna clean up right here. And here too, might as well. And then I'm gonna switch over to my concealer brush and clean it up. Is that better? It's hard because my mirror's over here, I have a monitor over here, and I am counting on you to look at it straight on. <laughs> I feel like that's better. I don't see that I have to set this concealer. So let's take a good look. Like yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna mix the two. I might be asking for trouble because it might be a little much, but I'm gonna put a little bit of the light and a little bit of the dark. So a little bit of the 160, a little bit of the 200, and I'm gonna mix them and see what happens. Let's try it on one eye first. Well, both eyes. This will be my double layer. It might really mess it up. But I just feel like it's not quite right. Okay. 
What do we think? I feel like that's better. It makes me feel better. I'm just not comfortable with my under eyes being so bright. I think it brings out the wrinkles to be honest and the texture. Yeah, I feel better with that. This foundation is nice. A little bit of Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash. I did post a short video showing this mascara. My sister-in-law bought it for me for Christmas. It was so nice of her. We never exchanged gifts like that. And I didn't have anything for her. I felt so bad. But I've been wanting to try this for so long, so I'm glad she did. And it's really easy to get off. One of the first tubing mascaras I ever tried was by Blink. I had really sensitive eyes at the time and taking my mascara off with makeup remover was really irritating, but I found that it dried so crunchy and I couldn't layer multiple coats, but this one I can and it doesn't dry crunchy. There's that rogue hair again. I'm gonna show you what this looks like with two coats on, just so you can see, but I don't find it necessary to be honest. I am generally a two coat mascara kind of person though. Most people I know are. So let's test it out. Yeah, I'd love to get a pen. I just, these two, there's a little clumping happening right here. Aha, got it. Good enough for me. Tweezers, who knew that would work? I am about ready for a coffee. I find around three o'clock in the afternoon is when my body says <sighs> like nap time. This side always curls better than this side. I don't know why. I wanted to play with this blush again. Ilya sent this to me a while ago and I tried it right away and then I forgot about it. So I wanna give this a try again. This is in the color My Last, At Last. I gotta do my brows too. You may have seen me test out the blonde. It is a cover girl, easy breezy brow pen and this is in blonde. I really liked it the first time I tried it. And then the second day I tried it, I thought, ooh, is that even showing up anymore? I'm not sure. So I wanna keep trying it. I have a bunch more to try. But I really want to see if this dries out quickly. Maybe I was just having a day. And I tinted my eyebrows and they're a little dark, but I don't mind. My right side is thicker than my left side for some reason. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will take a bit of the lighter concealer by Makeup by Mario and I'm gonna clean up under my brow. I'm gonna use the N11 angled brush for that. Probably is meant for more of a powder. I don't know. There's a brow hair. Get out of there. That's actually a really great tip, by the way. So when I put the concealer on, the hair bounced out. It makes it so much easier to see, especially if you have blonde hair like I do. Sometimes those little buggers are really hard to see. It gives you a nice guide. I'm not sure about this pen. I feel like it's gonna run out really quickly. Maybe I'll think differently when I look back on it. Hmm, okay, let me try on this side. I feel like I'm getting better now, hold on. There's a hole right there, we'll see if it fills it. It could be that I'm just used to seeing darker colors and because it's so light, it doesn't show up as quickly. This is my brow that I struggle with the most. It has less hair over here. And I have that one darker freckle right there that makes it look pointy. Better. I don't know if it's giving me enough. You let me know, what do you think? Have you tried this before? I feel like I'm working a little bit harder at it than I really want to and I still have holes. I really liked it the first time I tried it and this is why I really like to try things first before I recommend them, like a few times. If you ever see me use something and you wanna know how it's going, just message me because I don't want you buying something that I said was good and then the next minute you hear, oh, that's not so good after all. I will continue to use them and I will absolutely be honest with you and how I feel. Yeah, I feel like that's better. Anyway, if you look back at that other video, it did look good. I was really happy with it. 
but it's no good if it's like a one-time use kind of thing. It might be that my eyebrow hair is darker and that way I'm not seeing it as much because when I really liked it was when my brows were really, they had faded quite a bit. So it could be that. Maybe it just doesn't show up as well against this dark hair color. That would make sense. But it just, it, even the wetness of it, it doesn't feel as wet. This brow pencil, by the way, is by L'Oreal and it's the Brow Stylist Definer and this one's in ash brown. I need a new one of these. This is by Makeup by Mario. It's a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer and it's in light medium. The only problem I'm finding with this packaging and I don't know, like I don't think I'm dirty. I have to clean off the top here. Yeah, it's almost like little hairs are in it or something. That's better. Be careful with that because, you know, sometimes we leave our brushes out in a jar. Like if all your brushes are stored like this and it's outside collecting dust, <laughs> if I don't use them after a few days, they are collecting dust. And then if I dip the brush into a cream, that's gonna get into my cream. So if you can help it, store them in a drawer. I have this, it's an old one from Morphe. I don't know if they sell this anymore. I just dumped them all out so you could see. It's a case like this, which also looks really dirty and then it closes up. BK Beauty has a travel set that comes with a bag and I believe they actually developed another travel bag. I'm not sure that compresses down and then gets taller, I feel like. That's the best idea. It just keeps your brushes really clean and sanitary. I'm gonna use a Smashbox brush. These are old. Look at, some of the hairs are coming out of this. This brush I purchased, I believe in 2017. Could have been 2000, I don't know. It was a long time ago. And that's how long they last. If you look after your stuff, it'll last a long time. So just tapping directly onto my cheekbone. I posted a video recently and it was drugstore products. And I noticed that where I had my placement was kind of dragging my face down. So I'm moving it up. And I'm using this as a bronzer. I'm just adding color. By adding color, it automatically is adding definition. It's adding highs and lows to my face to give it more dimension. That's all I'm looking for. All right, so now I'm gonna try this Ilia blush. Should I use this one? It's not a brush I would typically use. This brush to me, I would use it for under eye powder. I would use it for blush, but maybe not cream blush. Should I just try it? Uh, no, I think this is too fluffy for what I'm looking for. I'm gonna use a 109. This is by BK Beauty and it's very similar to the 101. It's got that little angle there. It's dense and I'm just going to work it into my brush. Yeah, I like a denser brush for a cream blush, unless it's a liquid blush. If it's a liquidy blush, that would have been a nice one. So the high points of my cheek and that's blending right into my bronzer. Would this be a long lasting makeup with those cream products? I'm not sure. You know, and here's another product that I second guessing myself now. This is the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination. And I've gotta be careful not to use too much and that it's the last step of my eyebrows. Look it, it really shows me where I've messed up though. Right there. See right there, does that look like it's goopy? Like if I push up on it. Yeah, I think it does. Okay, whoa. I wanna push it up with my finger and get the excess product off. This is what I mean. Be careful when you watch people on here, including me. <laughs> like give me a chance to really use it and really play. Like I went and bought myself a full size of that. It's not that I can't make it work, but I think that's what I have to do is I have to get the excess off, push it down and make sure, yeah, that there's no goobers on there. But once it dries, it really stays and that's what I like about it. And the other thing I like about it is it doesn't make me itchy. It doesn't make me feel like I have to do this to get it off. My brows have seen better days for sure. It'll have to do. I said this in my last video that I don't have up yet, but I am going to get really good at doing an end of month review, something like that, like the Patrick Ta brow lamination. I wanna let you know after I've tried and tried and tried it, is it as good as my first impression? Same with the CoverGirl brow pen. I'm not loving it as much as I did the first time. So I wanna play with it more and make sure before you guys go and spend your money. I mean, some things I just love. I actually really like this foundation a lot. The concealer, as of now, it feels really good. I'm just not fond of the color selection and the fact that I have to mix two for my perfect shade. And the brushes are great. I just 
love supporting people that I love. So I'm happy that I got those. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush actually. I wanna put a little bit of powder right here and right in my T-zone basically. I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna go have my coffee. I'm gonna make notes of how this feels at the end of the day. If I notice anything strange about my makeup at the end of the night, I will put it in the description box for you. But again, I'm gonna do an update at the end of the month for you. Let me know if this video helps you. Let me know what you wanna see next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.